Hey everyone, it's me Faith. And I'm Kath. And this is Ready Spaghetti. And this is Rocket Omnivoro. And we are the Gender Rebels. Welcome to Gender Rebels TV. Hey Faith, I got a question. Yeah? What's your question? We've already discussed LGBTQIAA, mm -hmm. quilt bag, asterisks. I want to talk about the rest of the acronyms All right. out there. I'm going to quiz you, okay? Okay, quiz me. Because you see. know everything. Apparently. Everything. I, I know everything. I have the best knowledge. This entire show is based on me saying, Faith, I got a question. Yeah, I do, okay. in theory, know everything. Hey, Faith. Yeah. What does NB stand for? That stands for non-binary. Awesome! What yeah. does GSM stand for? I don't know. That is a term called gender and sexual minorities that some oh. people have floated as a replacement for LGBT. Oh, like we talked about in our last episode. Exactly. GSM. So this would just sort of cover everyone and let's not worry about including aromantic and intersex and two-spirit and the blood of blood. Just, okay. What does it stand for again? GSM is gender and sexual minorities. I wish we could figure out how to do gem. Gender and... Uh, uh, sexual minorities. Uh, minorities. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this. I kind of have a fondness for LGBT. GSM, yeah, if we're gonna, unless we're going to come up with a cool word, mm -hmm. like gem or shiny. Um, yeah, then... it would only be pronounced if it were... It would only be improved if yeah, it were pronounced. Exactly. I would say. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, Faith. Yeah. What does GNC stand for? Gender nonconforming. Boo! Boom. Got it. Got it. Gender nonconforming people. That is a term I often use when tweeting because mm -hmm. I want to talk. I want to talk about like um, trans people and queer people and non-binary people and, and gender queer people and cross-dressers and everyone who's kind of gender non-conforming. Although, mm -hmm. it's, it's a slightly loaded term because it carries with it the idea that they're the gender binary is somehow legit. Which I don't like. I mean, when it says so, non-conforming, I, I think wrapped up in the term conforming is an acknowledgement that our society does really like this binary. Yeah. And, you know, but... I don't like conforming. I've never liked conforming. Nope. nope. But, but I do like non-conforming. Yes. Mm. So what's the next one? MSM. This one's a little bit tricky. I can explain. Mainstream it media. No. <laughs> what is it? In some cases, yeah. So specifically what I'm referring to is men who have sex with men. Okay. And now this is different from gay men or homosexual or something like that. This is actually a term that they use a lot more in medical and social sciences. Huh. Okay. They use it in like public health research because it kind of skirts the whole thing about how someone identifies. Okay. If uh, there was a, a great study about HIV, that a huge, huge study, really, really good data set, and they referred to their population as MSM, men who have sex yeah. with men. Like all the straight guys on Craigslist looking for Precisely. guys. Precisely. Yeah. Or, you know, some, some guy who has sex with a guy once, yeah. you know, this might not be who he is or how he identifies. Mm -hmm. He's not gay. We, we are like to have... We all get to have this. We have dalliances. Things. It's fine. Yeah. So MSM sort okay. of is a, a wider term, not yeah. necessarily something that anyone uses in like their personal life. Yeah, I think, but a good term to be aware okay. of. Okay. How about A M A B? Assigned male at birth. How about A F A B? Assigned female at birth. Hundred percent. You're so yeah. smart. So this is a way we can uh, that trans people often say, "I was assigned male at birth," mm -hmm. because you don't want to be like you don't want to say like I was a dude. Mm -hmm. Not a big girl. Mm -hmm. You were gonna say I was assigned male at birth, but people were idiots, and so they didn't figure out that mm -hmm. I was a girl, even though I wanted to be. And I think the so. important letter, the important word in that is assigned. Assigned, yes. Assigned. Because if I had gotten to assign my own gender like mm -hmm. earlier on, my life would have been way more interesting. But I don't think I would have met you. That's what so. makes me sad. If I think yeah. about how much happier and healthier you would have been, and how we probably would have never met. So. Yeah. A M A B or A F A B. What's S R S? That is sex reassignment surgery. HRT. Hormone replacement therapy. These aren't acronyms, but these are terms. That would be good to know. Ace. Ace is an asexual person. Arrow. A-R-O. Is that aromantic? Good. Yeah, aromantic. But what's the O? No, it's not an acronym. Oh, Ace oh, okay. is short for asexual. Aromantic Arrow organism. is short for yes. aromantic. <laughs> Don't say organism, please. Why? We're all organisms. <laughs> I know, but it's gross. It's I'm crazy. eukaryotic. <laughs> I'm prokaryotic. No, you're not. 
A couple of terms. Okay. Some of which I just learned today. Yeah. So you might not know. Demi boy and demi girl. I've heard these, mm-hmm. but I Our don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Okay. And offend someone. Okay. So I'll I'm gonna let it you just say what they are. So. Listen to our podcast episodes where our friend Avery talks about it. But a demi boy or demi girl is someone who is, for the most part, non binary. Yeah. Certainly NB, definitely GNC, no gender, or gender queer, sometimes both genders. In the case of demi boy, it is non binary, sometimes a little bit of a masculine presentation. Okay. In the case of demi girl, mostly non binary. Sometimes leaning towards a sort of a femme presentation. Okay. Hi, ready? All right. Here's a new one I just learned today. Gray. Gray. Okay. These are a specific type of alien oh, that gosh. are um, allied with the reptilians. Is that not what you're going with? The reptilian overlords? The yeah. The 12 foot tall reptiles yeah. who run our government? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you, you can get to their right. secret base through the um, Denver airport. Yeah. <laughs> Links down below. You're half right. Yeah. Gray applies to a couple of things. Okay. And the one I'm specifically referring to is sort of within that ace arrow spectrum. Okay. Ready? Do you want to come on the couch or are you just going to hang out a bit? Come on, girl. She wants to be a star. All right. Okay, we got her. She's a star. Gray is uh, people who are, for the most part, asexual or okay. romantic, but they experience sexual attraction rarely. Okay. okay. So, you know, little flickers here and there. Yeah. Demisexual. I'm. I would guess that's an asexual person who. Wait, I don't know. Is that the same as gray? I just learned it today. Okay. They only experience sexual attraction when creating an emotional bond only that person. Okay. So kind of basically mostly asexual or aromantic, but when they find the one, the one, yeah. Let's get it on. Um, CD. Is that cross-dresser? Cross-dresser. Yeah. Which I don't know why the cross-dressing community doesn't just go with XD. Because, like, like Christmas. Like cross. Like X's. Yeah. I don't know. But, hey, if you're cross-dressing and want to use XD, we recommend it. And if you're going to jump into that acronym. Already, XD. I mean, CD is already like a Disney thing. XD, like a network. CD is a compact disc. Okay, it's fine. PGP. I actually don't know this. This I also just learned this today. Okay. Some people use that for your preferred gender pronouns. Okay, I like that. So you could say PGP, she, her. Nice. PGP, he, him. PGP, zezer. Cool. So, yeah. Those people are, are acronyms, complicated. They are. They are. This and you great. know what? These aren't like really common necessarily, no. especially PGP. But just because they're com- not common doesn't mean they're not legit. Oh, of course not. Yeah. Of course not. So it's just good for you guys to know and for us to know and for the world to know that these are different initialisms or some are acronyms or acronyms yeah that we use to refer to different or some are just abbreviations in our community correct we're also we're learning about people and language and culture and sexuality excellent and diversity so thank you so much for tuning in thanks for watching all right everyone bye